Good morning, everybody. We got the liquid life brewing here for us to inject some life into us. We're waking up a little sore from all the work we did yesterday. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but here we are, living the dream. I guess Britt's outside already. Let the dogs out. We'll let them out. Uh, today we're going to continue our project closing up underneath our veranda. And I just got word from work saying that uh, I'll probably be leaving for Ohio on Monday. Today is Friday, so uh, things are a little slow getting moving out, but that's okay because I got a lot of work to do here at home. You should see my sunburn. Can you see it? One second. On my neck. I don't know if you can see it there or not. Oh, there she is. Look at this. Just yesterday, these all started to bloom, or not bloom, bud, and come out, whatever you want to call it, started to come to life. Look at them now. Look at now, we got these like flower trees down here. Wow. That's awesome. I love this time of year when everything comes to life. Everything just turning green. Everything's growing. So much promise for the future, you know? That's why spring is my favorite season. Because it's already warm, you can already go out. The bugs aren't too bad yet. They get bad real quick, real soon. The next couple of days is gonna be nuts. Mosquitoes are gonna get bad. Uh, because we have this here. Not that garbage. Because we have this pond here, right? And this is where they breed. So I have actually, uh, taken steps to change that for this year. What I've done is uh, we have an aeration kit on the way that's going to be uh, keeping this water moving. Uh, so there's gonna be two uh, underground, I guess what they'd call them, stones or whatever, rocks. One on this side, one on that side. That's gonna keep the water moving so that the mosquitoes have nowhere to breed or less space in there to breed. And I've also ordered a, uh, an extendable pond rake so we can rake all this algae and gunk and all the weeds off the bottom. We're gonna rake them right out. It'll take some time because we'll have to do it by hand, but and we can't afford to buy all the machines for it. So it'll work, it'll just take some time. Uh, so we'll be able to do that. I also bought a pump this year that can pump water from our creek over here into here at about 3,500 gallons an hour. So uh, we should be able to raise the level of this for an evening or for a weekend when we want to swim in it. So this beaver dam is pretty much destroyed, which is good. But it's sort of like a, a land bridge now. I can get across half the creek. I can almost jump to that side. The creek isn't very deep right now either. Remember how deep it was uh, last fall after those heavy rainfalls? And uh, all of this, like it came rushing over the dam here and it ate away at our bank right there. All of that. I'm glad that it broke through the dam on this side because then it's not gonna eat away at that bank right there anymore. It just goes pretty much straight through and down there. And right over there is where we wanna build our bridge eventually over the narrower part of the creek. I'm gonna put rocks on both sides so that this doesn't happen over there. And hopefully the beavers don't come and rebuild this thing. I don't really got the time to dismantle it any further than it's already been. So the creek is flowing. The beavers seem to be gone. I got other projects to worry about right now other than this. I don't got time for this. So let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope that they don't return. I think I hear my wife calling. I'm already wondering where I am. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Whew. You can tell that I've been uh, walking around and standing all day yesterday. I'm a professional sitter. So I have to walk around and stand all day. I, I notice it the next day. Diesel, what you doing over there, bud? What you doing? Don't drink that water, man. Don't drink that water. It's gross. I'm gonna fix it though. I'm gonna fix it next month. Oh no! Oh no! 
Oh no. Hey, you chase him, Chevy. You chase him. Now I chase you. I chase you. Oh. Oh, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Get him. Get him. Can I play too? Can I play too? Can I play too? I'll get you. I'll get you. Come here. Come here. I'll get you. Oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Break it up. Break it up. Come on, let's go up to the house. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's hard to wrestle them with only one hand. <laughs> Usually I can jump right in there and fight with them. So we want to install this today. So I'm going into town to get a few more parts and pieces. We need soffit vents for in here so that it can breathe underneath here, even though it doesn't go into my attic. Like these are the soffit vents that actually go into the attic to let the attic breathe. But uh, we want to let this breathe as well so that moisture doesn't build up in here, right? This board is not supposed to get wet. Not too wet anyways. We don't want moisture to build up in there. so. I'm going to need a, a soffit vent, a line that goes along that side. Another line that comes over here so that the air can go in and out and bring air through all of these sections here, right? Because once I close this off, if I just put a vent like that in here, all that's going to get vented is this section here. So it's got to be a line. And this is 72 feet long here. So I'll need a line here and a line on that side there. So we'll need 144 feet a vent and that's just like a thin skinny vent right like it just goes just here and then it has a little lip so the wood will go up on that side of it and also on that side there and then this whole area will be able to breathe we don't have to worry about moisture building up in there and destroying all of this work that we've done it's not cheap either building materials are always a little a little overpriced aren't they it's almost like they want to discourage us from building things so I had forgotten about that, that I need to vent that out. <laughs> I'm a trucker, I am not a carpenter, I am not a builder, but uh, you know, I'm a little bit of a jack of all trades. Emphasis on the little bit. So I wanna say thank you to who reminded me to put soffit vents in there. It was a comment on Instagram. Your Instagram name is, uh, well, your Instagram picture is a picture of a cat. And it is uh, G. Stewart Tim. He commented, make sure you allow for ventilation through the panels to prevent moisture buildup inside the veranda roof structure. They make small round vents for soffit ventilation at most home supply stores. I looked into the into those round ones, but like I said, if I just put it a little round one or a rectangle one, a vent between, I'm gonna call them joists, the trusses, right? You know what I meant. To one of those sections, all that gets Ventilated is that one section, so I'm gonna have to have a strip soffit vent that goes along the entire length that every individual section gets ventilation. I can go in and out or out and in or whatever it wants to do. As long as air can get in there and moisture can get out. I am not a builder, I am a trucker. But we are trying <laughs> trying our best here. Let's see what happens. Gotta go into town and get more stuff now. I had to go into town anyways, uh, cause my dad has a fancy, fancy table saw that he's letting me use. And it will be very handy indeed. So I gotta go in and grab that from his shop cause he's on the road right now. Throw that in the truck, in the back of the truck here so I can cut those panels up. Well, looks like Steinbeck's getting a little bit of a makeover here on Main Street. Look at this. Fancy, fancy. Hope they're doing it right. You never know, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they do a fantastic job, other times they make it worse than it was before. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure they're doing a good job. It would be fun just to sit in a nice cab and just play with rocks all day. We're talking about those like backhoe operators and equipment operators. That'd be a fun job to have. Not this guy, I wouldn't want to do that. Have you guys already seen the sunburst on, sunburn, the sunburst, the sunburn on my face? 
I showed you it on my neck, right? Who did I get burnt to a crisp yesterday? The thing is, that's how I tan. I know it's not good for you, but <laughs> every year, I don't try to get burnt, but I always fry first thing in the year, every year. But it never peels, it never burns, like it doesn't hurt at all. And then it just turns into a nice golden tan afterwards. So I don't know, I know some people get burnt and then you know they get the peeling skin, they get all kinds of nasty stuff, that you know, kind of pain and everything, it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't hurt. I just look like a tomato, that's all. Give it two days, two or three days and I'll look like a nice golden brown boy from the south. Golden boy. Golden man. Golden man. Sounds better. Golden man. I'll be a golden man. A golden southern man. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I washed the truck first. I wanted to clean out uh, the box because the box is all filled with uh, dust and dirt from that uh, drywall that I hauled away from our other renovation that we're in the middle of right now. So I clean that out so I can put dad's tools into a nice clean truck bed. And uh, go pick that up. I gotta go pick up those vents. Hopefully they have them in stock. I'm sure they do. We'll try out uh, EG Penner, I guess, since we're in town here. If they don't have it, there's McMunn and Yates. If they don't have it, there's Rona. These are all the same thing as Home Depot for you Americans. Dad's shop where every tool known to man resides somewhere. This is, I think, just all the storage stuff right now. There we go, there's all those tools. Any tool for any job you can imagine. You can imagine it, Dad's got the tools for it. He's your man. Now I need a table saw. If I were a table saw in dad's shop, where would I be? Table saw, table saw. I will find it without asking his help. I will find it, I can do this. I can do this, look at this big air compressor. Yikes, he's got another one over here somewhere. A stand-up one, thought he did. What did he do with it? Oh, maybe he sold it. Huh, who knows, who knows. Table saw, do you guys see a table saw? Maybe it's on the table. Maybe if I listen, it'll call out to me. Dad's pickup is in here right now because uh, this is where he usually parks his semi. Uh, but when he's on a trip, he parks his pickup in here. So. This shop isn't too far from their house. It's just he parks his truck in here, especially in wintertime, wants to keep it warm in here, obviously. And he takes his pickup home. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I don't think he'd have it at the house. Is that it? I thought it was blue. No, I think this one is this. This is the thing. I'm gonna have to grab this thing. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, yeah, that's the table saw. Yeah. I thought it was blue. Put this down here. There we go. I don't use this thing. Right. Let's see. Uh, see, you got angles and. Well, this, this maybe. Oh, oh. I'm gonna figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> what kind of 32 year old am I? I don't know how to use a table saw. Oh man, I think that this, oh, no, that goes that, that, that. You move this, then you move that. Raise blade this way. Oh yeah, there it comes. There it comes, just very slowly. You see? Ah, there we go. It's like you want it flush and underneath there for transporting so you don't cut yourself or anything. Told you I knew what I was doing, you doubted me. I'm 32 years old, I know how to cut things and stuff. I hope that by the time I'm my dad's age, I'm just as handy, if not at least half as handy as he is. <laughs> he always likes that saying, well, if your wife don't find you handsome, you should at least find you handy. I guess I just uh, gotta rely on being handsome. Anything else on this? Oh, it's, like the whole, it's the whole table. 
it, oh, he's got it bolted onto like a little table. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. I know what I'm doing, guys. I'm handy. I'm handsome and handy. There you go. See? My wife's a lucky woman. She got the whole package. Both of them. Handsome and handy. <laughs> mm, that's what I say, anyways. I guess I gotta get this in the back of my pickup now. Well, Diesel, there we go. We got her at home. We got our... Uh, Vents over here as well, soffit vents. Bought everything they had. I'm gonna be a little short, so we're gonna have to get a little creative. Two inch PVC soffit vents. To let this breathe. But I'm going to be 24 feet short. And nowhere else in town had any more. So we're gonna be a little creative. We're gonna be able to get everything vented. Just 24 feet of it won't be as vented as the rest. You wanna see something gross? Heads up, gross. Chevy found this in our bush. I think it's a cow jaw. At least I hope it is. It's either that or a very, very large human. No, it's a cow. It's a cow or a horse or something. Okay, let's get to work, guys. We got lots of work to do. I'm home till Monday now. I'll probably head out Sunday night. But we have the rest of today, tomorrow, and the next day. But we gotta get this done. Hopefully we can get most of it done today. And the finished product. Finished for now anyways, you still gotta put another layer of paint on it. So we decided that, uh, well, I haven't finished this yet either. I have to uh, install venting on there yet, but they're not. We got her all done four long afternoons, but looks a lot better. 